start off with Steve. Coach Kentucky's coming in off a of bye week. Uh, you know, what, what have you seen from them now that you've had some time to prepare? I think this is a good, real solid, a really good, solid team. You know, they play together, play hard. They've had uh, some close ones that they've gotten out of, and uh, that's the biggest thing. You see guys that play hard, play together. Okay. Coach uh, Chance uh, really performed well in the time that he had in the game. Just talk about how he's progressed in practice where you, you gave him that opportunity there. I think he's gotten better and better. You know, I think that he is kind of explosive as far as, uh, you know, zipping the ball downfield. And, uh, you know, and I, I think that uh, uh, that and we've got uh, some young receivers. We're kind of excited to see what they can do. And they did some good things too. So it's exciting to see Ra uh, uh, Ra and, uh, and uh, Rufus get touchdowns. And then Ducking did some good things. And then, um, uh, but yeah, I thought he looked good, and he, you know, he looked similar to that practice every day. Chrissy, uh, how different do you think this Kentucky team looks from the one you faced last year? They changed quite a bit, especially on offense. Uh, different on offense, in uh, some new faces on defense, but the, you know, defensively, schematically, the same. Uh, well, probably a little more aggressive on offense. Yeah. Uh, Mark Stoops of Kentucky says your wide receivers are much improved from the, from last year to this year. How have you gotten to that point? Just reps or just being in the system longer with those guys? Yeah, just getting older and throwing more balls. You know, everybody's caught more balls. Paul. Coach, I noticed on the uh, roster that linebacker Rodney Gross isn't listed anymore. I guess he's not with the program anymore. Uh, no, he's not. Rodney's not with the team. John. Mike, against Vanderbilt, I think it was four receivers that each had five or more receptions. I mean, as a coach, how good is it for you to kind of see that? And, I mean, what does it kind of mean for this offense? How important is it for that offense to be able to spread the ball around like that? Uh, it's important that we have good distribution, and we definitely want uh, – and we had good distribution uh, the other night, you know, where you want all the skilled positions to contribute to the offensive effort. And, uh, so that was good to see. <clears throat> Coach, I know Mark Stoops at times has run some bare fronts and some odd man fronts. You know, what did you see from them last year, and kind of what what makes him such a good defensive coordinator? They play hard. The other thing is, is they don't try to do too much. I mean, they're kind of basic and uh, and uh, execute well. Um, you know, they uh, kind of like to keep a shell over things, so blitz once in a while, but. Uh, uh, but, you know, they're just real sound, I guess, is the biggest way to describe it. Yeah. You held Vanderbilt to nine yards rushing, 155 total yards, under 45 plays. How much can a performance like that energize the defense going forward? <clears throat> well, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does uh, something. But, you know, we need to continue the momentum there. Paul? Coach Woody Marks and Dylan Johnson continue to run hard for you, and they had – I like they had better running lanes against Vanderbilt. What, what have you seen lately from Woody that has allowed him to get through that first level? I, I think he's quicker and more decisive, but then I think our offensive line did a better job uh, moving people around than they maybe have some.